What's up YouTube? It's Justin Monado for Lawn Pros. Today we're going to talk about one of my pet peeves, price. Alright, all right, let me turn down my AC. It's like 105 degrees out here in Jacksonville Beach. Um, man, I'm so sick of the subject, but um, we're going to talk about it anyway. So, everybody's got their minimum that they'll drop their gate for. And uh, I had a friend of mine who wanted his front yard cut and then once a month just pick up the sticks out of the backyard because the backyard's like all mulch and hardscape and stuff. Um, blow it off, whatever. And uh, you know, so I gave him a price. And um, you know, immediately, oh, well that's, that's kind of high. Really? Um, so I got the famous, my last guy. Okay, well where the hell's your last guy at? Either A, you know, Mr. You know, $20 lawn or whatever. A, he's in jail or he got out of the business because he figured he can't make money at 20 bucks a yard. Um, or, you know, he's probably not insured or paying taxes or you're probably supporting some kind of habit of his. So, anyway, we'll just put that out there. Um, tell him a little worked up. But, you know, I'm so tempted to just say, well, call your last guy then. Because really, I don't care what your last guy charged, you know. My overhead's different than his, different than yours, different than everybody else's. Um, so, instead of being, you know, kind of a jerk and saying, well, you know, I'd stick with him. Or call your last guy. Or, you know, if you want a Craigslist price, look on Craigslist or whatever. Or, you know, find the neighborhood kid with a push mower. Um, I just said, look, hey, you know. After reviewing the numbers on, on the property, um, you know, uh, with what I have to hold out for each property, um, and I think Jonathan with Florida Turf Pros has a great video on this. I think it's called uh, Know Your Numbers or something like that. Um, I'll try to find it and put a link in, in the video here, but he breaks it down really well. But basically, each yard you do, you know, you've got your overhead. You've got whether you have a mower payment or whether you're putting money in savings for a mower to buy next year or whatever, um, your maintenance cost, your labor cost, money you got to hold out for taxes, all that stuff, you know, add that up and then divide it by the number of yards you have. Um, and that's going to tell you how much money out of each yard you've got to hold out. So let's say you've got a $40 yard and you know that that yard costs you $6, okay, or whatever your numbers are. Um, might be Jonathan Potochnik that has that video. Lawn Care Millionaire. I don't know. I'll find it. Um, anyway, so look, dude, at, at $20, um, and I know it's just a front yard, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, with what I've got to hold out for insurance, taxes, gas, oil, maintenance, set a little bit of money. So, and God forbid I want to make, you know, a little bit of money. Uh, it just doesn't work, man. I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, I know it's easy to get pissed off about it, and you can tell I'm a little fired up right now, but, you know, if, because people, they don't know. Either A, they're cheap, which, you know, on to the next one, don't worry about them. Or B, they just don't know. And so I just try to educate them, hey, look, man, you know, I understand, you know, based on what I've got to hold out for X, Y, and Z, that's why I have a minimum. And, you know, if, if you put it like that, and they're like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. By all means, do the deal. Um, but if they can't respect that, screw them. Um, they're going to be a problem customer. So you are a professional. Oh, wow. I just got my third text message from this dude. We'll see what he says. Um, this customer that I'm talking about. Um, so, you know, again, you better respect your price because 99% of the people out there won't. So know your value. Know what, what you cost, you know, what your um, what your value value per minute or per yard is, and know what your cost per yard are. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna find those videos and link to them so that you guys can uh, get a better idea. Because there's no no sense in me reinventing the wheel on that, and they explain it a lot better than I do. So anyway, I just had to do a quick little rant 
but also, oh, there's fourth text message. My God, this is going to be fun. Um, maybe I should do an update video. While I was out here at the beach, though, I had to respect this mad hustle from these two little kids. I assume they're brothers. Um, you know, I, I, at first, I'm like, oh, man, I should take a picture and, like, put it. No, but then you seem like a creeper. Um, and God forbid I stopped to interview them and see how their, you know, little lawn business was doing without their parents being around because, you know, people are weird nowadays, which I get. Uh, I got two little girls, so I'm super helicopter dad. But, um. Uh, these two little dudes were probably 9 and 11 or something like that. And they were... Oh, Jesus, now i got a phone call. Uh, <laughs> they were walking down the street. Oh, this is going to be a fun conversation. They were walking down the street pulling a little red flyer wagon with some leaves that had been bagged up. And a rake bungee corded down to the ladder. Um, and it was just cool to see their mad little hustle out here, you know, on the weekend um, doing their thing. And then when I drove by, and of course my setup, you know, I don't have a huge setup by any means. But, you know, their eyes looked like saucers when they saw my truck and trailer and the big mower and, you know, all the stick equipment. But uh, it's just cool to see. You don't see that a lot nowadays. So anyway... Um, I'm going to find those videos, link to them, um, keep kicking butt guys, and uh, on to the next one. Alright guys, real quick update, um, when I was shooting that last video, um, or the last portion of this video, I uh, kept getting texts, and then I said I had a phone call from that client, so, uh, long story short, after I explained it, I said, look dude, I'm not going to make any money, you know, I got to take out, you know fuel, taxes, labor, insurance, whatever, out of each property, um, he's like, all right, let's, let's do your price, let's get it done, so, um, so I ran over to the property and got it done, and if you look, I don't know if you guys can see, um, let me switch the camera around, hang on, and you see in my side mirror, the city is outsiding people for not cutting their grass. It's kind of funny because I gave this dude across the street here a quote um, on taking care of his yard. I guess it was too high. Well, guess what? The city's going to charge a lot more. Oh, well, on to the next one, guys.